Hey, this is Terry Toots with an easy trick for creating some nice fall colors in Terrigen. It's spring here now, but in Terrigen, it can be any time of year whenever you want. We'll start out in a scene I've prepared with some rolling hills and a population of trees. In this case, I'm using an oak tree from XFROG's collection. What we want to do is to transform this green forest into a blaze of autumn colors. We can do this pretty easily by replacing the leaf shader with an image map in world space. So let's talk through how to do this. First, open up our population and the tree object inside of it. This will bring us to the parts shaders. We can see the two shaders controlling the leaves of our trees. First, we have a bark shader and a leaf shader. The first thing I'm going to do is open up this leaf shader, delete the current image map, and set the color to pure white. We can see the forest turn white, and this is going to open the way for us to recolor the leaves through the color function input here. Now we could do this with power fractals, but it can take a lot of work to get the level of color complexity you'd see in a real forest. A nice shortcut is just to use an image map. In this case, I'm using a snip from a photo of an autumn forest. It doesn't need to be high resolution, and actually this might work even better with a low resolution photo. It's just a nice color mix we're after. So let's create a new image map to hold our fall color image. I'm going to leave this set at plan Y so it projects from the top. And we'll blow this up to 1500 by 1500. Make sure to also come into the flip repeat tab and repeat X and Y. We want to apply this across the whole forest rather than just individual trees. So we'll add a transform input shader and check Use World Space. Next, we can plug this into the color function input of our leaf shader. That's starting to look pretty good already, but you'll notice that we've got some tiling effect going on from the image. We can help with that by warping the image map with a warp input shader placed before the transform. What I've found works well is a power fractal plugged into the X, Y, and Z of a redirect shader. We'll give this power fractal a medium scale. And make sure we apply a lot of displacement to really break the colors up across the image boundaries. And that's basically it. Like most things in Terrigen, now you just have to experiment with the parameters and seeds until you find something you like. In this case, I'm going to come back in and flip the X and Y of the image shader to mix things up some more. And that's looking pretty good. With some trial and error, you can pretty quickly get a very nice and pretty realistic looking autumn forest color scheme for your next fall render.